using a die. So, we're going to use a M8 die. We're going to use the die stock. And we are going to thread a 8.1 millimeter aluminium bar. And to, to double check that, that that measurement is correct, I'm going to use the vernier caliper. So first of all, I'll loosen the little grub screw off so I can slide the headstock up and down the, the scale. Remove, open the jaws, close the jaws tightly. Not there, because you'll notice if you do it there, you'll notice the, end, the, the majority of the jaw there, it kind of dog legs up a little bit. Uh, that's where you're supposed to take the measurement from, not here, but here. So you get the jaws, you push it up with your thumb, you tighten the jaws against the aluminium bar, and then you tighten the grub screw there. Get it nice and tight. You can remove the vernier caliper away, and then you'll look down here. You'll see where the zero is on the, on the headstock scale it says zero you follow that little line up and you'll see it's pointing to roughly 8.1 maybe 8.2 millimeters so what we'll do next the next stage after we've we've gauged the right uh, the correct size bar if you just put your bar into the vise like this into the engineering vise get yourself a flat file and then just Twist the file, rotate the file around the tip of that bar as much as you can. You should be able to get at least 180 degrees around. And then spin the bar around half a turn so that you can continue that chamfer around the rest of the tip of this bar. Now the reason we're doing that is to make it easier for our die to go into to centralize and be completely accurate, completely horizontal. So <clears throat> I pick up the die itself, it's an M8 die as I said before. Uh, there's two sides you can start on, well there's two open sides, but you can only start on one side really. There is a tapered side and there's a, um, a non-tapered side effectively. So we're going to start on the tapered side. We're going to ensure that the tapered, the tapered side goes on top of the bar and that's, that's where we're going to start off like that. Okay, so if I put, this is the die stock, where this coupling is here, that sort of little ledge there, you want that to be facing upwards, upwards, which means that when you put the die in, you've got to see which side the tapered side of the thread is that's going to go into this so the tapered side is here so that when you position the stock over the top of your aluminium bar the tapered side is facing towards the end of the bar and that that ledge that sort of um, top there is is facing upwards okay so the next thing I want to show you is that this die has got a split in it and it's been made that way so that it can be squashed or it can expand or it can close it can expand it can contract um, depending on which screw you've got down because we're doing the first pass like when we did the when we used the tap you've got to do at least three passes down the uh, down the material down the tube or down on this occasion it's down the bar so what we've got to do first of all we want the die to be at its widest possible. So we're going to make sure that little slit there at the top of the die is there just underneath that central screw. That central screw. And what we'll do is, I'll bring that screw down. I'll just get the screwdriver on it. Just, just turn it a little bit. And you might be able to see that there is a lot of a lot of tension inside this die to keep the slit roughly about I don't know 1.5 millimeters apart until I turn this screw to tighten it the gap increases there 
which means effectively that the um, the thread has increased in diameter. So what I'll do now, because I've got this chamfer on the top, it's easy now to line up the die on top of the um, bar. And I'll just check that it's definitely straight. Thumb was on the top. Spin it round half a turn. Check the level on both sides. Continue turning that half a turn. Bring it back quarter turn. Turn it half a turn, back quarter of a turn. Half a turn, back quarter, so on and so forth. Okay, so I've nearly got down to the bottom of where I want the thread to finish. And you'll see all the swarf has come off. It's all broken off from the thread. So I'll unwind this to remove it. Just remove the stock and the die from the thread. Um, when it gets to the top, just before it's near, before it, before it comes off the thread there, just put your two fingers directly underneath the center of the stock there so that you can ensure a parallel removal of the die. Okay, so what we'll do now, the next step, is to loosen that screw that you tightened before. You can take the die out, flip it round. Don't drop it. Flip it round now. And then we'll just I've just turned these screws now, just so you can feel the screw to where it touches the edge of the die, and just turn it back on. Now, what you'll find is it's not quite as open anymore because this central screw isn't putting any pressure on that slit, so it's it's just it's just as it is normal. It's just the slit is just as it should be. Okay, I'm going to do um, a pass with it being like this now. I don't want to take this screw out because I'll end up losing it, but you know it just needs to be in there a couple of turns just so it's not making any contact with the die whatsoever. So I've turned the die round, I've loosened that central screw, and now what's going to happen is that will have that will have contracted the diameter there will have contracted. It will have got a bit uh, become a, a bit smaller. So then I'm going to go over my thread again. And you will see, you don't need to do a half a turn and back quarter of a turn. You can probably do three or four turns and just, just come back quarter of a turn just to get rid of any of the... Because you're only going to remove sm much smaller amounts now from those, from that thread. So go right down to the bottom of the thread, back turn. Right down to the bottom, you're probably there now. Undo it. Make sure you, you cup it securely underneath again and then remove it now if I try now with the nut if I try that on there it's going on but it's really tight right so what we can do now is we can tighten these two side screws but do them in sync so do do like half a turn on one and do half a turn on the other and you'll you can almost close that gap now before making the third and final pass so you can see all the swarf coming off there a couple of full turns back half a turn with this one a couple of full turns back half a turn Okay, bring it all the way back now, and then hopefully, again, cradle the die stock underneath there, and then hopefully, the knot will come on. Okay, still not going on actually, so what we'll have to do now is go over the thread again just clean out all the all the thread get all, all the swarf out of the thread okay 
tightened the die up a bit more now. So the die is as tight as it can go now. All the way down the thread. This is the fourth pass now. It's usually done in three passes, but it's an exception this time because I'm because I'm filming. I thought it would be awkward, I guess. So this is the fourth pass. So we'll try this now. Add a nut on there again now. Okay. Well, it's going on the top there. It just needs a bit of a clean. And then we should be okay. So it just has to get past that first bit. And then it can go all the way down. So that was four passes with a die. So just to go over that, just to recap very quickly. Um, you've got the die, you've got the stock, you've got the little screws, the little sort of grub screws, the three of them that are all um, located around the top of the die. The two side ones, they go in as far as they can to close that gap. That will be on your last pass that as you can see that gap inside there is a lot a lot less than when it started out so you start out with it quite wide you start out with these two screws loose and this central one tight and that will open that gap to ensure that this radius in here is its maximum its maximum radius inside there and you'll ensure that you've got a nice smooth thread for screwing into your um, in, into the nut or into the tapped thread that you created on the last video okay thank you very much for watching have a good day